Over the past few years, a wave of murders involving Muslim leaders terrorized the nation. These murders were actually linked to a known Islamic rebel leader as Prophet Elvis, who had foreseen these events, would reveal the details behind these gruesome murders. There's a defection, there's a defection around this nation, a defection, and uh, that is actually of a man that, uh, uh, what I see about him, he is Islamic, and it appears like a defection, and uh, uh, there's a group that is actually uh, um, uh, uh, created that is not good. Uh, um, well, terrible group, eh? Years later, the rate of killings intensified till the murders were only days apart, sending fear through the local Muslim community as well as being reported on both locally and internationally. A list of targeted Muslim leaders was also uncovered around this time. In the last three years, 12 men, all linked to each other, have died brutal deaths in Uganda. All were leaders of their community. All were Muslim. Many of the dead appeared on a so-called hit list. So far, no one has been convicted of these killings. Hundreds attend the funeral of Mustafa Bahiga. The Muslim leader was shot three times by unknown attackers. He is the second Muslim cleric to be killed in less than five days. The way he was gunned down is the same way many our colleagues checks we are gunned down. So we don't know exactly what's behind that. Four armed gunmen riding on border borders trailed the late Major Muhammad Chigundu till they cornered him at Masanafu Trading Center, the Kampala suburb, and started shooting. Uganda's Inspector General of Police, General Kale Kaihura, attributes the killing of Muslim clerics to forces from allied democratic forces operating covertly. The police would later report arresting the men responsible, chief of whom was Jamil Mukulu, a Muslim man who had resurrected the terrible rebel group, the Allied Democratic Forces, also known as the ADF. 